Hey guys, Rita Esther here from RitaEsther.com. Today's video is all about setting up your web hosting email to talk to your Gmail so that way you only have one email to check so everything's a whole lot faster and easier for you. So you're going to need to log in, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, you're going to need to log in to both your Gmail and your, um, your hosting. I use Bluehost. So this is actually for a client site, but I'm logged into the back end. So the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to your um, C panel, which is up here, which stands for control panel. So let's click on C panel, which is where we already are. So once you're in the Bluehost, click on C panel and you'll see a screen that looks similar to this. Then we're going to go down to, e oh, it's logging me in again. Oops, sorry about that. Gotta love it whenever the internet decides to um, meet, uh, march to its own little drum there. So let's let this log in. There we go. So C panel. Then we're gonna go to our email accounts. So this is a fresh um, install, I guess, of WordPress and everything. So we're just getting started with this site. So I'm gonna add a new email. So as you can see, there's no emails right here. So the first one is going to be support at coachjbrad.com and then I'm going to put in a password. Oh, very strong, awesome. So that is my password for um, accessing the support email and that's the reason I'm doing that is because I am the, um, the person who is working on his website. So now I'm going to scroll down and you'll see that it shows support at coachjbrad.com. So now whenever somebody emails support to um, Coach J. Brad's website, it will actually email me so that way I can help them out. So then the next thing that we're going to do is go to our Gmail account so that way we can make them talk. So I clicked on Gmail and you can see all my email stuff. But what we need to see, actually I need to make this smaller. There we go, it is right here in this little settings. So click on settings, click on settings again, and then you're going to go to accounts and import. And then we're going to add a POP3 email account. So the email account, let me move this window where you can see it. The email address is support at coachjbrad.com. Then click next. So then the username is going to be support at coachjbrad.com. Make sure I spelled that right. Yes. Then you're going to enter in the password that you just created. And this has some more information here. The pop server is mail dot whatever your server your um, hosting name is dot com. Um, so the port is at 110 unless you have the SSL certificate, which case it would be something different and your hosting can tell you what that would be. But in general, port 110 is fine. Click on account. And then I do want to save that password. So the next step, it says, um, your account has been added. You can now retrieve mail from this account. Would you also like to be able to send mail as support at Coach J. Brad? So what that means is that if somebody emails me or whoever at support at coachjbrad.com, I can actually reply to that or compose an email from my Gmail without having to go to Bluehost's backend. So yes, I do, next step. Um, this is how do I want this to um, to look. So my name is Rita Esther, who is support at coachjbride.com. Treat this as an alias. And again, the, um, the username is support at coachjbrad.com and the password, enter it again, add account. So the next thing that it says is, you saw I say the password. We just successfully located your other server and verified your credentials. Just one more step. An email with a confirmation co code was sent to support at Coach J. Brad. To add your email, do one of the following, click on the confirmation or enter the code. So let's go back to our Bluehost panel. Then I'm gonna go to, um, to this email and say, click on access webmail which brings up a whole new tab. Gotta love new tabs. So it's the password. I'll need to email him with that password today. 
So it's going to pull up. This is Bluehost's back end, which as much as I love them, I really don't like their webmail client. Um, but hopefully this will be the last time I ever have to ever, ever see this. Click on this confirmation. So I can either add this code right here or I can just click on that link. So it comes up. Let me scooch this over. Please confirm sending mail as, as Coach J. Brad. So I'm going to hit confirm. And it is now confirmation success. So I'll go back to my email and I should see that. Oh, look, I have a replay for a David Seitman Garland thing. At any rate, that should pretty much do it. It's really not that hard in your settings tab. And it's going to save you so much time when it comes to checking all your emails because you can have support, info, um, trying to think of all the other ones that you'd want to have for your Gmail. Like I've got mine for my website at RitaEster.com where you can email support or you can e email Rita at RitaEster.com. But the good thing is, is to start setting up these um, separate email addresses in advance. So that way, whenever it's time for you to hand over some of your work to like a VA, <clears throat> you've already got your, um, you already have your, your system set up because you have to have your systems. But that was it for today's training. So I hope that you got a lot out of it and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.